this is your brother Majid Mahmoud recording for the Merciful Servant. When someone hurts you or oppresses you, there are several permissible ways in which you can react to that oppression. You can go to Allah with your weakness and make dua, a supplication to Allah against the one who oppressed you. And Rasulullah said the dua of the one who is oppressed will never be rejected. Or there's another option which you can do and which is basically wait until the day of judgment where you demand some good deeds from the one who oppressed you in the dunya and hurt you equivalent to the amount of oppression they caused you and had that person have no good deeds to pass down to you then you end up giving them some of your own bad deeds and this is based upon an authentic hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu the third and the best of options and this is the point of the whole video an option which only few people pursue and may Allah make me and you amongst the few what's the option the option is when you forgive and you overlook the oppression and the pain which the people have caused you so you do not make dua against them and you do not wait till the Yawm Al-Qiyamah to gain some of their good deeds. Rather, you simply forgive. You might ask, but brother, what's the benefit of this? The benefit, brothers and sisters, is a reward. From who and how much? From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A reward is limitless. There is something that your mind cannot imagine. Something that your eyes have never seen. Something your ears have never heard about. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَزَاءُ سَيِّئَةٍ سَيِّئَةٌ مِثْلُهَا And the retribution, the payback of an evil act is one like it. Then Allah says, فَمَنْ عَفَى وَأَصْلَحْ However, whoever forgives and reconciles, فَأَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Then their reward is on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Your reward, Allah tells you, I got you. You forgive that person, I got you. Brothers and sisters, when a king in this dunya tells you, I have a gift or a reward for you, then you know for a fact that reward or that gift will be equivalent to the wealth, power, majesty, and capability of that king. When I tell you the king of all kings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told you, you forgive, I got you, your reward is on me, then you know for a fact Allah has an amazing reward being saved for you. May Allah allow me and you to taste the sweetness of that reward. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. If you were to allow me, my beloved brother and respected sister, to stress on the concept of forgiving those who oppressed you and wronged you, and please do not rush and say, Brother Majid, speak as long as you want. I will not forgive that person who hurt me and oppressed me all my life. Rather, please, please, my brother and sister, give me a chance to tell you a hadith, an ayah, which wallah is for your own sake, as your life may completely change within these few minutes. And you might basically take all the weight from your shoulder, that weight that is causing you not to move forward in life. Bismillah. Let's look at the point of focusing on how to overlook and forgive those who oppressed you by doing two things. Number one, showing you how low and cheap this dunya is, and then showing you how honorable and beautiful is the reward of Allah for those who forgive. Bismillah. Are you ready? Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Let's look at the reality of this dunya that we're living in. In an authentic hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was passing by a dead goat and he grabbed it from one of its ears. The other ear was chopped off and looked really weird. So the Prophet was holding it and he told the Sahaba, who would like to buy this goat for one dirham? Huh? A goat that is usually bought for tens of dirhams, the Prophet is offering it for one dirham, except that this time it's dead and has weird looks and a chopped ear, basically. The Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, we would not like it for anything. What's the benefit in it, Ya Rasulullah? Then the Prophet said, okay, who would like to have it for free, for free? The Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, Wallahi, even if it was alive, we will not take it because of the way it looks of the chopped ear and so on. Then imagine if it was dead. Then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us the reality of this dunya in the following sentence. He says, Fa Wallahi, and the Prophet doesn't have to say wallahi, but he stresses on it. He says, فَوَاللَّهِ لَلْدُنْيَا أَهْوَنُ عَلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذَا عَلَيْكُمْ He swears by Allah that dunya in the sight of Allah is even of a lesser value than this dead goat is to you guys. Allahu Akbar. What is it in dunya that we're willing to cut the ties of brotherhood and sisterhood for? Now, after looking at the reality of this dunya, let's look at the honor and the reward and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that comes on those who forgive. Are you ready? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches me and you that one of the fastest and easiest ways to ever gain the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't you say, Allahumma inna ka'afoon tuhibbu al-afa fa'afu anni so desperately. Oh Allah, you are forgiving and you love to forgive, so please forgive me. You sincerely want, want to maximize the chances of having this dua and any other dua where you ask Allah's forgiveness for it to be implemented 
and for Allah to forgive you. Are you sincere? Yes, brother, tell me. Rasulullah sallam tells me and you. He says, Ighfiru lakum. The fastest and easiest way to gain the forgiveness of Allah is when you yourself forgive those who have wronged you. Allahu Akbar. Listen to this. Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu used to give a monthly allowance to his nephew Mustah bin Athatha, but he stopped. Why? Because Mustah started to accuse the daughter of Abu Bakr Siddiq, Aisha radiallahu anha, of doing a major sin, but Allah already shown her innocence in Surah An Nur. But Abu Bakr Siddiq was so upset and he stopped that monthly allowance. But Allah revealed the verse and He says, Let not those who have wealth to withhold it from their relatives and the needy and those who emigrated for the sake of Allah. Then Allah says a statement, brothers and sisters, not just to Abu Bakr Siddiq, but to everyone who says, La ilaha illallah, for anyone who truly loves for Allah to forgive them. Allah says, Let them forgive and overlook. Allahu Akbar. You want me, Allah, to overlook and forgive the one who accused my chastity and the, my daughter? But Allah says, Well, Ya'fu, well, Yasfahu, Allah to Hibbuna and Yaghfir Allahu Lakum. Don't you love for Allah to forgive you? Allahu Akbar. Then Allah says, Wallahu Ghafur Rahim. Allah reminds you, He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. Right away, Abu Bakr reacted to this and he says, Bala, Wallahi, inni la uhibbu and Yaghfir Allahu li. Yes, I, Wallahi, Wallahi, love for Allah to forgive me. And right away, he forgave Mustah bin Athatha and he started giving back the monthly allowance. Allowance to him. Allah Akbar. May Allah grant us such iman where we are so eager to gain the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by forsaking anything in this dunya. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, an additional reward to this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically tells you, I love you when you forgive someone. Wallahi, if Allah loves you, then what else in the world matters? What else in the world matters? Allah says in the Quran, nas, and those who forgive and overlook those those who oppressed them and wronged them, then Allah says, Wallahu yuhibbul muhsineen. Allah says, I love the muhsineen. So Allah called you amongst the muhsineen and Allah says, I love you. And may Allah make us of that category. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Look at Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When there was an assassination attempt against him, when some meat was brought forth to him that was poisoned, and when the Jewish lady was brought forth to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, shall we kill this lady? Lady who tried to kill you? Then the Prophet said, What? What did the Prophet say? The leader of all those who forgave. He says, No, la, Allah, but for an assassination attempt, brothers and sisters. In conclusion, please pay attention. To sum my message in one statement, there's nothing in this lowly and cheap dunya that is worth forsaking the reward, love, and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As of tonight, July 16th, 2014, I begin with myself. Allah is my witness and you are my witness. I forgive anyone that has ever wronged me since the day I was born. Allah is my witness. I want His love, forgiveness, and Allah's reward. May Allah grant it to me and to all those who are watching. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah. It's your turn. Go for it. You can do it. Brothers and sisters, forgive and Allah will forgive you. Forgive and your reward is in Allah. Forgive and Allah will love you. Bismillah rahman rahim Go ahead and share this video with your friends and family. And may Allah make you as means for people to forgive one another. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. And wallahi had this happened, then the reward that comes from it is greater than the reward of praying a tarawih prayer or any voluntary prayers or even giving in charity as this is based on authentic hadith. Share. May Allah bless you. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.